Good morning, Facebookers. Um, it's been a while. It's been like over a week. Sorry, I've been really busy doing a mud run and building some Lego. So um, yeah, crazy times. Loads, loads to go through. But first, new daps. Oh, Kayano Twenty Threes. Like to say. So. Mind. So that's happening. Yeah, new daps, and uh, gonna try those on today. See you soon. Good morning again. Off to the gym. So um. Yeah, new daps. So I'm not doing much this morning, just cardio. Because <laughs> I'm going to break these new trainers in. And they're a bit snug, if I'm honest. They're a little bit tight. The last new trainers are supposed to be, you know. And then, after about the, the last pair, the, 20, the 21s, I found the 21s I had. They were so comfortable. And even though they're designed for long distance runners, which I am most certainly not. So, <laughs> it's a long time runner. Yeah, I do that. Um, they're very, very comfortable, they're light, they, um, hello, close, they're, um, oh, they're, they're just super, super comfortable. I have, um, I like, I like, these are by Asics, Asics Kayano 23s, they're brand new in, in the UK. Oh, Sash. So, um, yeah, they're excellent. But they're, these are brand new, so but they're lighter than the old pair. They they look they look dead smart, but they're a bit snug. So I'm just going to break them in this morning on the treadmill. Not getting any blisters. The moment I start to feel that rub, that blister rub, I'm going to stop, and then um, I can put them. I have these little these little pads from Australia. They're um, why do Australia don't have all the cool shoe things? Um, yeah, so I've got these little pads from Australia which fit inside your trainers and stop you getting blisters. They're really good. So um, I'm going to do that later. Okay, so yes. Why have I got new trainers? Well, every you should replace your trainers quite frequently anyway. When you're my size, you really need to replace your trainers regularly. 100, maybe 200 miles or so is their limit. Their cushioning has gone, you know. Uh, and also, uh, this weekend, last weekend, I did the Filthy Girl Mud Run um, in that way, in, in, on the edge of Wales and um, on the edge of England, to the context. I absolutely ruined me even though I've been, as I, I think I've mentioned in other posts I was like you know trying to prep for this thing it destroyed me I was not prepared for that and at the time I hated it I decided I was never going to do something like that again I wanted to die I actually almost did die but then when I got back to the tent and I'd recovered a little bit I decided that I have unfinished business there and I want to do it again, but much faster in a year's time. So I'm still on the 90 day challenge. That's going very well. I think about six pounds since I last vlogged. I, um, I'm a bit out of sync with things at the moment. But I'm also now training 12 months for the, the next year's run. Ah, so that's good. So that's gonna happen. Now I know I don't want to be a runner. I, that's not the physique I really want. Not that it's a bad physique, and pretty much any physique other than whale is better than my current one. So, you know, but I don't really, I don't really like running very much. It involves being out in the rain too much, and that's not for me. I'm not a big fan of the rain. That's for other people. I like to do things in the gym where I can lift heavy shit. So. But, 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 training for it will be very, very good for weight loss. And that is the number one priority right now, is to get the weight down. So, uh, it's a complimentary step. I, I feel it'll help get the weight off, I'll have some fun. It gives me, um, 
Because it's, I, I was, I, it was, I was wondering what I was going to do with the video blogs once this 90 day challenge is over. Do do another 90 day challenge? Well, I've got this run now to plan over the next 12 months. Yay! Aren't you all excited about seeing me plan for a run? So, um, so there's that. And then after that, of course, we're starting, we should be getting into the territory to start looking at, you know, the, the bodybuilding properly. I'll cut the weight off, I'll have some be able to see some what's under the fat. So um, so that's so that's where we're at. Um also my I've had trouble with my cameras. No they're not, they're not trouble. This camera, this is the Panasonic camcorder, that's been locked off doing a time lapse of my Lego castle. I know if you watch my other videos I've been building a Lego castle and it is awesome, it is so amazing. I've just finished that, which is why this is now back in the car. 4,000 pieces and maybe three feet high. The thing is huge. And that's in another video. I'll probably link that somewhere or something. I don't know. I can't do YouTube very well yet. Um, and the, the, the Panasonic, the Lumix, the other Panasonic, which I bought, unfortunately, it's got terrible autofocus. I've been reviewing some of the videos and it can't seem to focus on my face very well, which is which makes things, you know, a bit challenging. Um, so uh, that was my friend beeping at me. I guess he was going to the gym. So um, I have to. I have to. I have to, I have to buy a new camera, which hasn't come yet. But, um, I'm going to go for the, for a Sony Alpha. I think that seems to be the best bang for buck. Um, the only problem is it doesn't have a wraparound screen, which the other two cameras do. But it, that should be okay. I, all I'm going to do is kind of point it at my face. So, I'm going to do that. So, yes, yeah, so a new camera coming soon. Um, a new running thing. New daps. By the way, if you aren't from the UK, you, we call trainers daps. That's what trainers are. New, new daps. New fast daps. Because, you know, you're always like when you have new daps when you're a child. Oh my god, man, look how fast I have my new daps. That's, so that's new daps. And um, and yeah, I'm trying to open a Red Bull without crashing into a ditch and open and, 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 and like upside down on fire. Which I really want to avoid. Because A, I really want Red Bull because I'm thirsty. And B, I don't want to crash in a ditch upside down on fire. Which would ruin everything. Sorry. I know I'm a Red Bull. Well, I'm nearly at the gym, so I guess I will speak to you a bit later. Although it's not going to be a, a sweaty betty today. I'm, um, it's all about breaking in these trainers. I'm going to be training later with the, uh, with much more, with much more, much more strongness going on. That's not even a word. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so I'm moving my strength training to later. And I may or may not video about that probably not because these are already far too long and everyone says oh my god your videos are too long and never get to the end great but they're right I wait they're on way too much good speak to you in a bit Hi. hello nice and easy today 30 minutes on the treadmill at a walk just breaking in the trainers and then a bit of rowing Everything's just starting to rub me now, so I think I'm at that, that pre-blistering stage. So get home, stretch them out again, put my anti-blister strips in, and it should be all good. Oh, blisters can suck, they just ruin your training, don't they? So yeah, that was good. They're really comfy though, they're so light. I can't wait, to, can't wait for them to be uh, you know, fitting properly. Sends my face. Right. Oh, it's gonna, oh, it's gonna come back. And there it is. So this may be the last outing in the car for this camera. I love this camera, but because it's got a plastic chassis, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it creaks and you can hear the creaking on the soundtrack. And I've tried using the Adobe Premiere um, Click filter, which helps, but then it makes everything sound a little bit muddy. Let's just see the top of my, you can just see the bottom of my face. So, um, yes. It's really hard.
hard to get that perfect camera for video blogging. I've got um, an EOS uh, 1DX Mark II and I use it at home, not that often. And a 5D Mark IV coming soon. And then, um, it's like this, like the big rigs. And then, um, from I've done about stuff. I've got the uh, this Panasonic camcorder, which I really like. And the Lumix G7, but the G7's got terrible face tracking. It's really bad at holding focus. So I can't use it in the car, unfortunately. Because it just, so if I'm looking at the camera, it'll focus. Turn away, it loses focus, which is really annoying. Uh, and the, this this doesn't do it. And neither does the, 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 either of the Canons. But the Canons are just too big to use in here, they're huge. And now I'm stuck behind a car doing four miles per hour. Can you indicate then, or are you just going to stop and assume we all know what you want to do? Ah, good, you're turning right. Thanks. We all get a bit confused on the road sometimes, but don't just stop in the middle of the road. Indicate, pull over, look at your map. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is probably going to be a long one because I've witted about a lot of stuff but I haven't talked about much. So there will be link. I'm going to post the 10 videos at once because I've got the, the, the 10k GoPro stuff to put up. I've got, I've still got last week's video blog to put up for cutting the caboose. I've got this cutting the caboose. I've got the Lego castle to post. I've got such a backlog of stuff. Um, but my home studio is finished. I'm hoping to record from there later. So a bit of a wacky one today. Um, let's, uh, yeah, we'll all be cut up. Cut up? We'll all be caught up with everything soon, and then it'll be back to business as usual. I can't wait to make my post about my 90 day challenge. A little refresher. Two stone in 90 days. Yeah, I've got some good news coming there real soon. I'm going to be blind. Not blind. I rode today. I haven't rode in since, since I finished CrossFit, really, nearly a Oh, six, eight months. And it was really hard. It hurt my arms. It hurt my everything. So, um, rowing. I'm putting that back on the menu. That that was that that was tiring. I'm adding that to my cardio, just as a just for endurance. And then um, I also want to cover what I'm going to be doing for the next twelve months. How I'm going to uh, own that ten k next year because as I said this year I just didn't do anywhere I just it nearly killed me do you know when um do you know when I'm gonna put this in another video actually I'm gonna talk about that girl who really died cycling just the other day um but I felt like that for the first time I felt that um I may die I had nothing left I was I was down to um, I was on empty, I was on absolutely empty, and all I could do was, was everything I could do was to just stand. It was a, a very bizarre and unpleasant experience. I've just realised I haven't put my phone on airplane mode. So there may be static on the audio. Damn it. There we go. Thank you, as always, for watching. More, loads more content coming up real soon. I think it's four videos in the can. Me in the can, old Hollywood. And please keep watching, subscribing, feeding back. Uh, thank you again so much. Um, the, 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 this whole weight loss journey is tough. And having people commenting and all the feedback, it's... Um, it's, it's terrific. It really, really helps. So thank you all. And I'll see you all next time on Cutting the Caboose. Bye.